go. surprised that I did that many scenes. <laughs> I was like, I can't make a montage with milk. They found a way. Not enough Maxin, if you ask me. Not enough Maxin action. Yeah. Um, yeah, it, with such. Something, something going on there. I know, what's up? Uh, but what was it like making out with your best friend? Uh, you know, here's, he, he was my best friend before that, right? And that's why they did it, right? They, they, they saw the way we hung out on set and all this stuff. Which is kind of like too easy, right? It's like, oh, they get along, make them kiss, right? <laughs> but uh, it, it was uh, not weird. That's not the word. But 
It is your best friend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah there you go. You're acting, but still. Yeah, as soon as we were done, we were like, get off me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do it again. All right, come here. <laughs> oh, and he wanted to change his answer from the opening panel. What was your favorite season and scene or episode, Jared, from the whole run of the show? Just Matt, I had so much fun shooting the Mount Weather season that I forgot about it for some reason. But yeah, that's when uh, you know I'm starting to realize I'm going to be there and meeting the meeting these folks. Chris is you know we're hitting on each other in scenes and stuff like that. He did start early. The yeah. hints. Yeah. Yeah. If you watch season three, you're like, I think Miller's flirting with Monty. Yeah. yeah. Was that the beanie season? Did you ever beanie in Mount Weather? Or was no, that's what I had to call it shirt and the slick back curls. Right. Okay. Yeah. What was your favorite look over the years? You know what? If I had, a, if I could have chosen, I would have kept the, the armored look all the way through. Yeah. Yeah. Was I, it comfortable? Not the Blood Raina era stuff. Right. But like, the, like my dad and all that stuff. Oh. I love that stuff. Fake muscles, right? That's <laughs> what fake muscles. <laughs> Except when it was really hot, it's fine in the winter, but didn't you shoot in the summer in that gear? In oh, really? No? That's good. Yeah. yeah that's good. No, I got away from, I got lucky. Okay, good. Yeah. So I'm gonna, I uh, did a deep dive on IMDb and I'm ready here to embarrass all the cast. I have some facts about your previous projects. I'm gonna do, name this TV movie. I'm gonna read the paragraph and see if you remember what this is. Three teenage girls from a small town star in a pornographic film. Does this ring a bell yet? which tears their families apart, leading to a disappearance, a murder, and secrets boiling under the surface in their small town. Name this TV movie that you were in in 2014. Uh, I'm in that? Yeah. <laughs> it's called Sea of Fire. Sea of Fire, oh, you know what that was? It was a pilot that never aired. Ah, it says Detective Ray Halverson. Yeah. That was you. Yeah. So that never aired? No, it never aired. Okay. It was I wonder why it sounds so good. <laughs> What's it, the, is it Jennifer Carpenter from Dexter? Yes. Yeah. Oh. It was with her. Oh wow. Yeah. I was going to be her partner. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, oh well. Here we are. Okay, but um, I went through, and you have, I believe, the most film and TV credits of anyone on the cast. You have forty-two so far, and you're a young man. You got your whole career ahead of you. Yeah, I've, been, I've made my rounds. I've been you, very fortunate. You have. Okay, so let's talk about the fact that you were on Fringe. Any Fringe fans here? Oh, nice. You played an agent, an FBI agent. What was it like being on that show? I'm a big Joshua Jackson fan as a person. So I was from. I watched The Mighty Ducks as a kid. I've always looked up to him. He's Canadian, so I was just kind of like he was mentoring me a little bit, like just indirectly. Uh, it was my first time, I think, doing multiple episodes on a show. So I was just, you know, learning. Nice. It's a good time. Were you on when the Fort the Duchess was on, when Meghan Markle was on? Because she played an agent too. Did she really? Yeah. Oh, I guess you weren't on together then. No. There were many seasons of that show. Yeah, and I think yeah. I died, right? Like, I just remember I got stabbed with a pen. You did. I was like in a car, and yes. then some dude comes up, he's like, are you all right? And I was like, no. And, then, <laughs> and scene. That was the end of it. Yeah. yeah. I think you were killed off. Yeah, right? Yeah. I know. Okay, I'm going to name the character you named the show. Okay. Alan Durand. Oh, the Arrow. Arrow. How many episodes were on Arrow? Four, maybe. Nice. Were you a villain or what were you? Yeah, I was this dude that was like, I need your help, and then I kind of lured the Arrow in, and I was actually a bad guy. It was a little swerve. Do you like playing a good guy or a bad guy? They keep casting me as a good guy. I don't get it, but <laughs> well, no, I, you know, I, I, I like, I like the bad. I like that. I gravitate towards that stuff for sure. How would you describe Miller, like sort of in the gray, or how do you think of Miller's path from start to finish? I kind of, for me, he was an anti-hero, yeah. but ultimately a good guy. Right. But like a reluctant one. So I always looked at all the great, like the Wolverines and all those cool characters that are like, I don't want to, but I will. You know, like right. that kind of approach. <laughs> the arc. Yeah. Yeah. Um, okay, so let's talk about the Blood Raina season. Uh, what was it like filming with that arena and also eating fake people cubes? Yeah. Has anyone ever seen a movie called Soylent Green? Yeah. Yes. I didn't realize until recently that we based that on yeah. Soylent Green. Yeah. Um, what did it taste like? What was it? It was like, anyone know Metamucil? <laughs> Chalky? No, when it gets gelatin, right? And then it had like, uh, cr cr like peanuts in it. <laughs> it had a crunch. Yummy. 
Yeah. yeah. No, it didn't taste good, but it didn't taste bad. I was okay with it. So the Blood Raiders set was super cool with the arena, obviously, and then you guys landed on a different planet, but like of all of the seven seasons, what was the, your favorite set to be on? Oh, that's a great question. That's a great question. You've been on spaceships, you've been everywhere. Yeah. Well, indoors. <laughs> Anything indoors. Yeah. Yeah, but no, Matt, 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 I like being in the bunks and all that stuff. Yeah. The, the, so that was that, they had the whole set built with like oh, yeah. the whole, that's yeah. cool. Every hallway was fake, everything. Nice. Not fake, but you know. Right. And we will open up for questions by the way. I'm just trying to continue embarrassing him with his roles here. Um, okay, so you have an upcoming holiday movie. Tell us about the Christmas checklist. I mean, they keep pointing me in Christmas movies. I don't, I don't get, my whole demo reel is like murder and pillage and, and then Christmas. grumpy and then Christmas, yeah. <laughs> What's the Christmas checklist about? It's just a, it's a nice little film for the family. And I, you know, my conservative, uh, older uncles and aunts, I love that they get to, you know, watch something and not have to worry about... Murder shows? Murder shows, yeah. So, um, yeah, it's about a young girl. Her mother left her a checklist before she died. And uh, she made a young, a young stud. <laughs> Uh, Are you the young stud? I think so, yeah. Sweet. Well, Maybe less sweet. young now, but... Is your character named Young Stud? What is his name? <laughs> I didn't write that down. It's not Young Stud. Okay. <laughs> and then you have something called I Do Kiss Goodbye Again. What is that? Oh, you know, that, that was... A... <laughs> okay, uh, I was a huge ER fan growing up. I don't know if anyone else was, but... Uh, Eric LaSalle and Gloria, Gloria Rubin. It was, it was their reunion show, and they played the parents in this movie, and they were... It was about social media and learning, dating each other, it, whatever, you, you get it. But it was, uh, that was really cool. Yeah. And, you know, I like working with people that I grew up watching. Do you play their son? I play the husband of the daughter. Okay. It's their daughter, yeah. Nice, okay. And I'm like the one who's left out, because she's obsessed with the, the internet, as we all are, right? Yes. You were on a cult show many years ago called The L.A. Complex. Did anyone watch The L.A. Complex? You guys are missing out. Okay, one person, awesome. Sweet. It's funny because it was a CW show. Yes. Long before the CW was the, known as the CW. Yeah, no, 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 R.I.P. CW now. Yeah. <laughs> it is literally no longer. I've yeah. heard about that. So you played Christopher Taylor, and tell us about that role and what that was like. How many seasons was that? Two? Well, it was season two, and I had replaced another actor okay. whose character left. And he was, a, he was a, a lawyer from Los Angeles, kind of put together. It's a homosexual. And, uh... They cast you again, huh? Yeah! yeah. Same network, too. There you go. <laughs> but, Handsome, available, let's make him gay. Yeah. yeah. And if he's black... Yeah, check that box. Yeah. 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 See, we'll never see. get in trouble. <laughs> you don't have to tweet that. No. <laughs> uh, no, but no, he, he... This was actually before people like Frank Ocean came out of the closet, yeah. so it was about this rapper, like a really tough, like DMX type of rapper, who was closeted falls in love with me, and I kind of guide him to his coming out and stuff like that. I thought that was cool in 2014. Yeah, it was that way before its time. Wasn't going on, yeah. No. And then you were in um, The Killing, which is an AMC show, yeah. and that was really, really cool and dark, and then a murder show. Um, that was in Vancouver, right? Filming in Vancouver? Yeah. Like most of your stuff? Everything, yeah. And then you were on Once Upon a Time, and who did you play on Once Upon a Time? I played that guy, Gus. <laughs> I love that you have that tattoo. So you clearly enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I'm getting that removed now, but... Are you getting it covered? I'm getting most of my tattoos removed, actually. Re removed, not covered? Yeah. Wow. How long does that process take? Long. Okay. Because I, I think Pete Davidson was doing that, too, where he's removing a lot of his tattoos. Just FYI. Rightly so. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Um, we, don't, we have plenty of time, but if anyone would like to... There's a microphone back there. You're welcome to line up where you can literally just raise your hand, too. I mean, it's totally up to you. Look at... You can... Either one. You can go to the mic. Yeah. Sure. I have plenty of more embarrassing facts, but let's do this. Thank you guys for being in here with me, by the way. Yes, thank you. Thanks a lot. Hi, my name is Rachel. Okay, so disregarding season seven, if you could bring back anybody from any season, who would you bring back? Damn, good question. Well, I have to look at it, I have to think. <laughs> who would you enjoy being with on set, right? So it's kind of a selfish thing. Um, Alexa. I think, I think someone said that. No, but that speaks for itself. Um, you know, Chris, I would like to have Chris Larkin around a little longer. Yeah. Yeah. That would have been. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Hi. 
Hi. Hi, Emily. Um, so, first of all, I love you most of the time. Um, and that was how, when I went around the country, I was like, oh, that's that's Yeah, I grew up in Lake Cascos. It was fun. Yeah. So, um, I know you're from Calgary. Um, I've been a few times. What's your favorite place to go in Calgary? I haven't lived there in so long that culturally it's kind of become this little Nashville of Canada, kind of Portland, yeah, like it's, it's, it's really bumping, right? Bumping. <laughs> you know? um, but no, I, I, Stampede speaks for itself, right? But I, I just love being there during, uh, during that, that time. Cowboy hats galore. That, that's my time. Yeah, uh, restaurant-wise, you probably know better than me. I don't know when you were there last, but... Uh, 2018? Yeah. yeah. I have no clue. I just, see, I just see my family, really. Nice. Yeah, but it's good brisket and all that stuff, too. If you want. Nice. Yeah. And so many cities have changed through the pandemic. So many things, so many stores and last and restaurants and, and there's reopenings and everything is still sort of adapting. For sure. Yeah, yeah. for sure. All right, I'm not going to ask you a wrestling question this time. All right. <laughs> um, so, you know, Miller was always a secondary cal character. Um, how did it feel when, I guess it's at the end of 714, when Miller gets his big moment to um, save everybody, when the bombs drop through the, the portal or whatever, and he races and throws the bomb into, I don't know, a closet or something. Um, how did it feel reading the script and like that you were gonna get to do something yeah, like that? fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, that's honestly how I felt. I was like, I, it had been weeks and weeks and weeks, and listen, my time on the show was great, right? But there was, Obviously, you're gonna think, you're like, what am I doing here? What does this guy do? <laughs> so I actually, I tried, I tried to talk to him about it and all that stuff, and like, it, I, I just felt like it kept on being like, Jax. And Jason actually said to me, he's like, if you can't think of anything, just say Jax. I'm like, can you just put a little fucking thought into this, dog? <laughs> so by that time, I was like, good, that sounds good. I'll do a little action here. Because yeah. no. I, I had no idea, because if you're not telling me what the character's about, and, it's not much I can do, but that's why it's, the audience will actually end up deciding who he is. But he never told me, man. <laughs> <laughs> well, it, it was really cool as a fan just watching you get yeah. have that moment. Oh, Miller gets to save everybody. It felt appropriate for the character. I was excited for no, that. No, it's like, oh, yeah, yeah. Miller. And you yeah. got to live happily ever after-ish. Yeah, I survived. I can't complain. Well, I can't complain. Right, you can't. But yeah. yeah. I will complain. Fair. Okay. Okay, take your time. Who is your who is your favorite cast member? Oh. Oh. They're not in here. You can totally spill. <laughs> Who's on the show? <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, let's just go with Sachin. He's not even on there. Sachin. No. Oh, he's my he's my best buddy. You guys, you've known each other for how long? Since 2014? 2014, yeah. Yeah, uh, but no, like, it's all separate. Like, if I had saw that I would have a day with Bob or a day with Chris, I was always like, oh, it's going to be a completely different, like, nut show. It's going to be crazy, <laughs> right? Um, yeah, I didn't realize it until this, the time off since we wrapped that. Yeah. A lot of special, I had some special relationships with these folks. And even if I've been mad at them before, <laughs> I missed them. Oh, really? <laughs> Most of them. <laughs> do, do you know who's my favorite um, actor on the show? It's not Jared. <laughs> Go ahead. Bob Bellamy. Yeah! And <laughs> Jared, too. I don't blame you. <laughs> he's an awesome guy. <laughs> yeah, he's a great guy. <laughs> we'll make sure he knows. Thank you, brother. Um, tell me a little bit about You, Me, Her and what that series is. Is it still on or no? No, but I, I enjoyed that show. I was on it at the same time I was doing 100. It was about polyamory before anyone talked about polyamory. And there was a this young girl who ends up being the third member of a relationship. And I'm her boyfriend. I'm on the outs. And, but I thought the subject matter was pretty cool. Especially, it was, again, a little earlier than right. it was meant to be. And, yeah, it's a, rom a romantic comedy if you're into that kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you've actually been in some cutting edge stuff, all things considered. I cut the edges. You cut the edges, exactly. Is there anything coming up you want to promote? No. <laughs> Entirely fair. Maybe my kickboxing match. Oh, yeah. 
So you literally, that's what you've been doing this. And, oh wait, you lived in the UK when the pandemic happened. Tell I us did, about yeah. that. Well, I was dating someone and ended. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. No, don't warn that. It's okay. No, sorry I, to bring it up. It was Oops. a wonderful, wonderful time of my life. I, you know, Calgary guy. I'm never going to live in London. It was, it was cool. It was a rare experience. But uh, I, this, when the show ended and the planet being closed, I'm sure you could all relate. You checked in with yourself, like, what do I even like? Right? Because we never have time to think about it. I'm a huge mixed martial arts fan. I'm a UFC nut. And I was like, why don't I go learn? I want to learn it so I can watch it better and understand. Yeah, that's cool. And then I kept getting, like, I got a little better, a little better, a little better. My coach was like, do you want to compete? I was like, yeah. Nice. Yeah. But I, I, did, I, had, I was going to compete a couple months ago when I shot a movie. Right. Because I would have undoubtedly changed my face, right? But, <laughs> right. but I, I'm ready. I'm excited. If you're under contract, are they like, don't get your face beaten in for this next role? Like, do you have to tell them you're doing that? I'm going to tell, I would tell my agent I need three months to, to heal. heal. Yeah. Interesting, okay. And the tattoo removal too, it's going to take a while. I'm a new guy. I'm going to be a brand new guy. Sierra so Joseph 2.0. Changing my life. I like it. And are you living in LA or Van? Vancouver. Vancouver, okay. I spent the summer, most of the summer in Montreal. Okay. Vancouver, yeah. And you're... Do you still see any of the cast up there in Vancouver? No, no. <laughs> I, I hadn't seen most of these cats since we walked off set. Wow. And yeah. you guys wrapped right as the world was shutting down. Like, I remember talking to Eliza the last day, and I said, you're the last CW show. They're like, she said, we had to finish the finale, because it's the finale. It was And days. then you guys were out. It was within days. Yeah, and you guys didn't get to have a rap party or say goodbye because of it. No. Yeah. It's just sad. It, it just happened so quickly, the timing of it. Yeah. It was crazy timing, yeah. Um, without being too controversial, what is your opinion of how the show ended? <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, I think that's fair. I think of it like Game of Thrones. They, like, such cool stuff happened, and there's so many cool characters that obviously meant so, many, so much to so many people. And I try not to let one episode ruin the entire show. And a lot of people have told me last night they didn't even watch the last episode. Damn. And that's, you know, and I get it because of what happened in the penultimate episode with Bellamy. And I, I get it. Um, but hopefully, and people are at this convention, it's still about the show, it's still about you guys. Hopefully people take away that they liked most of the show. Is that still true? Yeah. yeah. For the most part? Is that fair? Yeah. When you filmed it, did you have any idea how it was going to end? Like, no. Even did you understand it? No. Okay, just checking. <laughs> so we're not alone. Good to know. No. Okay, good. <laughs> it was episode to episode to episode. We're like, where is this going? I'm sure some people do, right? right? Like, I would imagine the big dogs, the bosses, and that do. But, gee, I found out when yeah. I got there. Yeah. I mean, I watched Lost, and the 100 was more complicated. Like, toward, <laughs> toward the end, I was like, wait, let me do a, a flow chart about yeah. the planets and the characters and stuff. And by the way, I we we're going to joke a lot about the show. One of my best friends who worked for the show, so I'm not gonna, you know, be super cutting and mean about anyone who worked on the show because that was their livelihood and still is. So, Justine Gilmer, who worked for seasons two through four, four or five, is my best friend, and so I don't, you know, I'm not gonna rip too hard on the writers. You can individually do whatever you like, but I won't be. We're not gonna tweet about that either. Okay, great. Feel free to ask any questions you like. Yeah. Yes. Tea will be spilled. However, we are in Boston. Yes. You bet. <laughs> I did. I did. Great. We have plenty of time left, you guys. Um, you're welcome to ask Jared um, almost anything, really, right? Yes. All right. What's your favorite Vancouver restaurant? Ooh. It's something that's hard. Yeah, I like a place called Manami, which is kind of, it's a sushi. I've been to West. On mainland, Yes, it is. Yeah, no, you should. We've been to West. It's on the way to the airport. It's delicious. They make an amazing Manhattan, FYI. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, okay yeah. sweet. Yeah, good to know. Um, yes, go ahead. You look at you. You've got your journal. No, I, it's just my, my book. Okay, but, good. Um, wait, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. What's your boxing name going to be? <laughs> See, here's the problem. I'm going to pick it, but he won't let me pick my own, so. <laughs> I haven't been christened one yet. I was going to be cowboy. There's already a cowboy. Right. He didn't like it. He's like, he can't pick it. So, he's going to pick something bizarre, I'm sure, uh, for, through, through his eyes. But if I could, I actually have a cool one. I like wild rose because Alberta, my home province, is the wild rose country. Yeah, I'm like a little it. it's wild. Different. It's unexpected. Yeah, yeah. like you. Thanks. Yeah. But it won't, it won't be that though, unfortunately. 
Do you like Boston? I love Boston. What's not to like? Look at it out there. <laughs> Waiting my whole life to be here. Can we see a move, Jared? Well, let's actually, do it. I actually hurt myself in the photo shoot. Oh no! Actually, unfortunately. So no, the answer is no. Apparently, but we'll loosen up at the end of the day. Here we go. When you throw a punch, <laughs> always have a hand up. You like your ear? Yeah, you have to be holding that ear. Okay. Here's something. All right. Every even number. Now, an odd number is on the side here, so it goes in number sequences. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you always remember that the odd is on the outside, even's on the outside, odd is here. And then okay. left, hook, hook, upper. I did, I did the left, kickboxing, box. Box aerobics. I was very confused. Yeah. yeah. You, you have to have some rhythm. But it's really good. Yes. Go ahead. Okay, so since you guys rap so quick, I was curious, did you take anything from set, or is there something that you wanted to take from the <laughs> Yes, and I wish I took more, but I got the Miller just so I could maybe give it to someone at a con that would appreciate it, but I, uh, I took my, my waffle shirt that I wore for a couple of seasons, oh. and we looked the hole in the Henley, right? And I gave it to my ex, oh. so she has it. <laughs> I want it back, but whatever. <laughs> I, a few things I want back. No, but I, I just wish I. <laughs> I wish I took more. I should have, because it's not like they cared, or noticed. But I was just trying to. I don't know what I mean. You know. But I wish I took it all. Thank you. Yeah, you're very welcome. Hi. Uh, I don't really much have a question, uh, but I wanted to come up here. It's uh, my sister-in-law's birthday, and she's too shy to say anything to anybody. So I was just hoping you could wish her a happy birthday. What is your name? Liz. Happy birthday, Liz. Happy birthday, Liz. Let's give Liz a round of applause. Just so you know, the rest of the day I'm going to be calling you out with everybody. Just so you know, Liz, new best friend. Thanks for spending it with me. When you're on the boat, anybody recognize you? Uh, it happened a lot more when the show was airing. I would say maybe once a day at least, or maybe two times a day, but uh, post-pandemic, I changed my, well, like I had a massive beard and I had long hair for a really long time, so I wasn't that guy. But you got 42 credits. Yeah. People not always recognize you. are that it's guy. Only it's only for the 100. You have that, yeah. You're that guy from that thing. Yeah. Do any people go, I know you from somewhere? Yeah, I'm a character actor guy. Yeah, character actor. How do you feel about that phrase? Character actor. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't think I am. I think it would be a compliment. Yeah. It's kind you're of a very busy man. And it would suggest you know how to act. It's a true. It's true. Yeah. So. I've seen different actors respond differently to it, but I think it is a compliment. You it is a You're compliment. steadily working. Yeah. yeah. But no, if I do get recognized, it's for the 100. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Thanks. Well, I mean, hey, thanks for coming to the Jared Joseph panel. Let's give him a round of applause. Thank you, guys. You're welcome. I was worried no one was going to be in here. Oh, so. no. So kind of cool. And by the way, um, this is a Comic Con, so we're not going to clear the room. You can stay here as long as you like. And, um, you know, and obviously, if uh, for certain panels, the VIPs might want their seat backs, but for others, they will not. So you can stay wherever you like. And I think, yeah, you, I think now we're good. You're on a break. Or we can just sit up here and just talk shit about whatever. Yeah, hey, you guys want to hang a little longer, or what's up? Yeah. yeah. Wait, oh, oh, wait, I've got a quiz. Oh, yeah, I should go ahead. I'll look at my quiz. Everyone dies. But they reunite in heaven and you see Jasper, Monty, everyone on the ark, they get off the ship, they're on earth, they're all together. But if you could pick the ending, what would you do? Oh, that's a fucking great question. <laughs> you should do it from season five and pick it after season six and like trash season seven. <laughs> okay. Is that the name of season seven? Trash? Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I'm terrible. Don't tweet that. <laughs> it seems to be the general consensus. Be honest with each other, but it is what it is. That's a really great, good question, though. Yeah, I think I would have given certain characters different uh, trajectories. That's for sure. But I feel what you're saying. Speaking of 
about changing trajectories, how would you have changed Miller's trajectory? If hey, fine. first of all, <laughs> I would have given the audience an opportunity to meet him in a proper way. I mean, people, thank you, yes. thank you. Uh, I'll be honest with you guys, there was a point where I tried to quit the show, uh, but I couldn't even get a meeting to quit. How crazy is that? <laughs> How crazy is that? We're glad you didn't. No, so am I. And listen, I, I made, I made a great deal of money, and I, you know, this is like, I'm not, I'm not complaining by any means, but it, it did become difficult for me to uh, go there, and I, 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 I don't know anything about what I'm doing. Right? It was, it was tough. Like I. I'm not sure if I was ever directed, maybe one time. So everything that I was doing was kind of like making it up as it went, and uh, the guy became what he did. But uh, I don't even know if screen time is the issue. I don't think that is it. Yeah, but I'm thinking more as like the person watching it. You know, I'm, I'm glad that you guys are here, and I appreciate it. But there's good reason for you not to care about him, and. Uh, as a fellow TV person, character, the character's everything, right? It's like, oh, I don't know what I would have done differently, but I, I would have given people the opportunity to decide for themselves. I'm glad they gave you a dad, at least they gave you some. Yeah, the dad was cool. They gave you a dad. They gave you some backstory, at least. The dad was yeah. cool. A dad and a boyfriend, so. Is, I just want to go back to the quitting thing. Yeah. It wasn't necessarily quitting, but I wanted to say, hey guys, if you feel like you're in a pickle here because of my character's certain characteristics about my character, and maybe the character's run its course, I will, I will, I'll be happy to leave, and you guys can do what you want. You know, you, the worst feeling is to feel like someone, a, a, someone's beholden to you because of potential backlash, right? But I understood that. But I wanted to give them the opportunity to. Given, given out, pass away because, uh, yeah, it started to feel like uh, I was only there for certain purposes. But hmm. one second, we have someone with the mic first. Yes. Okay. This is like my go-to question, but like, if the 100 was like in our time frame right now, what do you think your job would be? Like a police officer, or because like you kind of have that role, but like, yeah. if it was now, what do you think? That's a great question. Maybe. Like a, you know, I think you said it, like maybe a military man. I think yeah. it would have just been something in the like forces. A private detective. Ooh, okay, yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Miller, PI. I think he'd work remotely. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, like we all do, right? Yeah. Um, so, what kind of things did you guys do to pass for fun to pass time on the set? So, I know you guys probably there for like hours and hours of movies sometimes for like scenes. Yeah. Just being silly geese. <laughs> Honestly, the dumbest jokes. Oh my goodness. I heard from someone way back yonder there, you guys were playing Uno or something at some point. Like, were, were there like games and board games out? Like, what were you guys doing? Yeah, there's a little bit of everything from day to day. It was, it was like, for a lot of us, it was our college experience. Oh. So I guess what you'd be doing in a dorm or whatever like that, we were just doing it on the set. <laughs> yeah. Napping. I slept all the time. <laughs> I don't know why no, no one else was sleeping. No, the day I was on set, there were some chairs and like almost everyone passed out between the scenes just because I think you guys had a night shoot. Pay hey, your sleep, go to okay. sleep. <laughs> you got free food. One second, we'll do this one first. So the show covers some like heavy material and I was wondering if there was like a scene or a series of scenes that you found like difficult to be a part of. Wow, good question, yeah. Okay, could you give me an example of one that maybe you're thinking of? And Yeah, and yeah, that was tough because I just met Ricky that day. <laughs> and they hand me a bowl of fruit, and they're like, slap them. I was, like, I was really apologetic, and they had been nice to me. She's like, oh, no, bro, don't worry, bro. <laughs> slap me, bro. <laughs> but there was one time when I did that, actually, and he told me, he's like, you got me in the eye that last time. <laughs> but yeah, that's a, a weird way, way to meet someone, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, probably that, good example. Yeah. yeah. So my friend had this idea, um, she just didn't want to come up and ask it, but so you mentioned leaving, if you were going to go and be killed off, like how would you want to be killed off the show? I hadn't thought that far, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I, 
I was just going to say, hey, I'll tell you, I'll go online and I'll say I left. It's okay. Don't worry about it. Um, I, I don't think he had to, and he might have had to die, right? I, take, you know, like, I always, a throwing star to the face, like in season one, with like that one kid. <laughs> Obviously dying saving someone. Oh, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that was my, my friend Levi. Um, you know, I think it's an underused thing of just having characters leave without dying. Your show, though, people don't just wander off into the forest. They <laughs> could go missing. I mean, sure, but they eaten by a panther or an ape or a grounder. I mean, it was a little treacherous, and then it all burned up anyway. Yeah, in our world, you gotta die. But you would be heroic. Yeah, I would die saving maybe uh, Jackson. Oh, That's what I would go for. That's nice. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, I'm, I just want to be clear, I'm glad I didn't leave. Yeah. yeah. Uh, changed my life, the, the job changed my life, even on the worst days, right? Uh, and uh, y'all gave me the love, so Aww. here we are. Good job, fan. Thank you. You ready for some season one trivia? It was only, it was only eight, nine years ago, it's fine, yeah. it's fine. Which ARC station crashed in Asgeta territory? Don't yell it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Anyone knows, put their hand up. Hmm. See that? I feel better. That's only four people. Okay. Farm Station. Oh, yeah. Nice. Nice. Who was the very first chancellor of Camp Jaha? Uh huh. That's a good question. It's a little tricky one. Oh, God. That's a good question. I found it on the internet. What is it? Kane. Kane was the first chancellor of Camp Jaha. That makes sense. Yeah, it does. Jaha. I remember. Yeah. I remember that. Yeah, exactly. How many people died in the culling on the Ark? A hundred. Three hundred twenty. <laughs> the hundred were the nerves that got sent down to the earth. I was close. You were, yes. Do you remember your very first line of the show? I don't. Yeah. Stop it down. It was my first ever day on the show was like we were talking about slapping it with the fruit. <laughs> I don't remember the line, but the line where I was a part of the show, I felt, was when I was talking, talking crap to uh, Jaha on TV, the Unity Days, and I was like, poof, poof, poof. Uh, <laughs> like anyone that. remember what I said? <laughs> I it was this dismissive, snarky comment, I was like, I like this. Nice, nice. Like this. Did you, did you work a lot with Jaha? Probably not. No. No, no I was yeah. doing it from a television. <laughs> That's right. But no, the, the ninja, you know, remember the ninja thing with Octavia? Yeah. That was maybe like my second line, I think. Nice. Something like that, yeah. yeah. You lose the good damn ninja. Well, did you enjoy working with Marie in the uh, Blood Reina, uh, arena? Yeah, she's intense. <laughs> that, that look was intense. There are a couple people here dressed as Blood Reina. It's terrifying. She's yeah, intense. Blood Reina, stand up. Look at this. Blood Reina! Hell yeah. <laughs> nice job. I'm a little scared of you. A lot. <laughs> That's an incredible job. I, I think, are we good to go? Okay, well hey, thanks again, Jared. Thanks for everybody. Thank you. I have one question. Yes. Has anyone seen Prey? The new movie. Yes. Oh, On Hulu, the new yeah. Prey. Predator prequel, okay. Oh, yes. It's supposed to be amazing. It is. Are you in it? No, but <laughs> has anyone no noticed the main character's like resemblance to Octavia? Yeah. Did anyone else see it? No, but we will now. Yeah, check it out. Okay. Yeah. All right, God bless you. Thank you, guys. Hey, thanks, man. You guys can just chill. I'm going to chill. Where?